Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So today we are going to be going through the top 5 easiest epic dragons to breed in DML. And so today the reason I'm going to be suggesting these dragons is because they have the lowest expected breeding times and the elements required to get them you can get at a relatively low level. And so the first one that we're going to start off with and the easiest epic to breed in this game is the orange dragon. So he has the fire, plant and earth elements here and you can breed him by using a fawn plus fire dragon. So the fawn is the reward after logging in for 7 days and if you breed him with your fire dragon you have a 13% chance to breed the orange and it's expected to take about 7 hours and 30 minutes to breed this epic. So you can actually get him very very quickly if you use that combination. And then the second dragon that I would suggest is the Agave dragon. So he has the fire, water and plant elements and he's actually quite a strong epic considering how early on you can breed him. And the combination that I would suggest out of all of these four here would be the top one, the fire plus melon dragons. And so you have about just under a 20% chance to breed him and there's only one other child that can be born from that combo and it's expected to take 18 hours to breed him. So again, you might not get him on your first try, but you should be able to breed him actually pretty quickly, despite what your level is or what else you're doing in the game. And then the third one would be the Regal Dragon. So this guy does require the metal element because he's a wind, metal and water dragon. But as soon as you get the metal, you can probably try to breed this dragon. And the suggested combo for him would be the Tornado plus Water. And when you breed those two together, there's just under a 15% chance to breed the Regal Dragon. And it's expected to take just over a day to breed him. So obviously, with the extra elements or the higher level elements, it does take a little bit longer to breed these guys. But the Regal is a very useful dragon that you can have in your game. And next we have the Tiger Dragon here with the energy plant and fire elements and you can breed him pretty easily by using the plant plus plasma dragons and obviously for all of these other dragons as well you have the second counterpart or the uncommon version of the plasma here that you can also use if you only have him available but there's about a 20% chance just under to breed the tiger with one other possible outcome again and one day and 21 hours expected. And the tiger was actually the first epic I ever bred, I believe. And he did me wonders when I was first starting off in the game. So I do highly recommend this dragon since he is just very, very useful overall. And then the final epic that I would suggest for new players to be breeding would be the black armor. So he has the earth, wind and metal element as well. And the combination to breed him would be the armored plus wind dragons and the odds for him are quite a bit lower than the others actually at 8.3% with three other possible dragons that can be bred as well and it's expected to take two days and four hours to get this dragon but the reason I would suggest him is because otherwise we don't really have a dragon that has the earth element apart from the orange so if you wanted to have the metal and earth elements all in one then the black armor actually will work like wonders for your team if you actually need those elements but with all of these dragons what I would suggest to new players is breed these guys and level up three of them to level 30 and then as soon as you manage to breed legendary dragons you'll probably want to be replacing your epics with legendaries and obviously quite a bit later on you will also be able to unlock the light and shadow elements and any dragon that has the light, shadow and void elements does have increased attack stats but in general if you just use these guys and then replace them with legendaries that's probably the easiest and best path for you to take because then you're not wasting any extra food at the end of the day because leveling them up to level 30 does take a lot of time and you don't want to level up these three then level up another three epics when you change your mind and then start leveling up your legendaries because otherwise you will put yourself quite a bit behind. But that is mostly all that I have to say. Again, the orange is super easy to breed if you just want to breed an epic super, super quick. 
But the website I used was the mogba.me slash dragomania legends slash breeding calculator today. So you can go and check out all these dragons yourself if you haven't before. But I do love these guys and there's even a the chance to breed the pixel with these two. I wouldn't suggest using these two if you want to breed the legendary by the way. But you know, if you have any more questions, then please leave them in the comments below because obviously sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get started in these sorts of games or at least get some good advice because you either have people just acting like they're over themselves at like level 110 or you have the people that don't actually help and just show you DML stuff. So I understand that it can be a little bit tough to get advice in this game. But anyway guys, for now, I hope that helped. Good luck with breeding all of these epic dragons, and until next time, I will see you then.